What is this? Screaming infidelity! What is this? You never heard this song? No. That was really bad. That was really bad. <laughs> Taking it. You never heard of Dashboard Confessionals? No. Your oh, habits no. Everywhere. <laughs> this is not a um, Screaming a karaoke. infidelity! Oh, oh. Maybe. Taking it somewhere. It doesn't pop in. No? No. That's what I was thinking of today when my hair was all fucked up on the way in. <laughs> oh, I was singing the juice song to my kid again. Because oh. he keeps asking for juice. That's how you do your Tiffany when you're doing it. I love how we always end up starting out with singing somehow. Yeah, and everyone loves it. We've been getting so many offers to like do make make a record, be on American Idol. And like we just don't have time. I don't want to spoil it. But you know how the two powerhouse women took control of Super Bowl this year. Well, yeah. Well, let the listeners know that uh, next year they offered it to Jesse and I. <laughs> Don't tell you. <laughs> and we're actually pissed that we need to, in the same way that uh, J Lo was pissed that she had to share the stage. Sure. Well, I'm yeah. We're mad. At, we're mad at each other too. But we're gonna be like cool about it. But I'm it. working. And I'm already working on my um my my stripper pole skills. Isn't that because funny that they? <laughs> <laughs> because I have to show like her. Like you up. need to work on. But it. I'm gonna be. I'm not gonna be in like a tight fringe suit. I'm gonna be in a fucking onesie, like probably like a unicorn onesie on a fucking oh, stripper yeah, yeah, pole. Yeah. Just but doing the sweet moves. Doing the sweet moves because I feel like that would be that more entertaining, sense. right? Yeah. Um, and you can't get mad at a fucking unicorn on a stripper pole. No. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to Drinking Broettes, guys. I love that. <laughs> Welcome to Drinking Broettes, brought to you by GhostBed.com. You know what's funny I was thinking about? Huh. Uh, that they, I don't know if that really happened, that she was mad at Shakira. Oh, was And that they a, weren't was, friends. Wait, so that was, was that like a, a little blind item that they were, when Shakira got put on the bill, J-Lo was like, dude, I was supposed, this was supposed to be my halftime show. Oh. And they added her because... Maybe they didn't have faith that she could handle a show by herself. J-Lo? Like, she could fucking do everything. She could fucking kill it, right? But also, it's like Miami, and that Shakira, you know what I mean? So they added Shakira to the bill. Mm-hmm. Well, it was kind they- of like an awesome Latina movement there, right? Yeah. Like, I mean, people were really It proud. ended up being, and I think they I was ended expecting, up- what's his name? Pitbull. Pitbull to come out and but start But I think rapping. they were like, they were like, you know what? No. We got this. I think at a certain point they were like, stop adding people to the fucking bill. Like, we can fucking. First of all, J-Lo could have killed it by herself. They didn't have faith in that. Well, here's the thing, though, is that every Super Bowl has surprise. Like, you want a surprise guest. You want a surprise. Um, I'm trying to think. Pitbull should have come out. But I think it was just like. I would have loved if he came out. I was expecting it. I I think think a lot of people were. I think they were just like, let's let the girls kill it. We don't need a guy to roll in but here. Yeah, they and always like, do that. Yeah. Because I think even with Bruno Mars, Bruno Mars is, I mean, hands down, I think one of the best performers out there. Yeah. It, live. And he even had guests come in and for sure share the stage with but him. They were it like makes his, it more exciting. But it was his headliner. So it's oh, like, it wasn't okay. Adam Levine and a co, you know what I mean? Like mm-hmm. he had guests on his bill, right? Oh, so I didn't even know with that. the girls, making them like a co headliner sort of thing Mm -hmm. i guess there was uh rumors that she was like okay well shakira has to go first basically then and open for me but then she came back and they seem like they were cool so i'm sure they got over it or it could just be another case of the media trying to pit women against each other which they absolutely do which people like been victim of ourselves Mm -hmm. in our own company (laughs) That's all I'm gonna say. But anyway, I, say, I, don't, even you you I don't even know what you're talking about. But yeah, not you and me. But there oh, okay, are other shows that they're trying to like. You know what I mean? Oh, they always sure. want a competition between girls. Always, where Whatever. it's like we can all fucking exist and together, we can get along, and we can fucking help and support each other. There can't just be one. You know, it's always like, oh, the head bitch. That's it. There uh. can't be like a bunch of girls that are. You know what I mean? Yeah. No, I get it. Anyways, so we are filming this. We're doing recording this before the Bachelor drops tonight. No, how okay? dare us? So this is coming out Wednesday. And how dare we're us? We're doing this Monday before, but I yeah. thought this was funny. So um, I have one of my really really good friends who I adore. Um, 
we went through seer training together and he got out and became a lawyer okay he is in chicago okay so of course i thought to myself lawyer in chicago does he know they kelly almost, flanagan they almost know each other right because <laughs> she's an attorney in chicago i always think that they do but i yeah. do too and so of course i um sent him a screenshot of her and i said do you know her <laughs> have and you he, seen this woman yeah and he went r.i.p kelly and he goes yeah we hung out every we hang out every monday night um, the other week we hung out Monday and Wednesday, but I don't think I'll be seeing her much anymore. And I was like, wait, are you for real? Is this our sarcasm? He's like, well, obviously she's on The Bachelor. He's like, I don't know her. He goes, really? But here's Maybe what, she's not an attorney. But here's what's funny. He goes, Madison's obviously going to win, except she's going to quit because Peter is going to bang Kelsey or Hannah Ann and Madison's going to find out. And I said, <laughs> dude, I love all this shit you're saying. Do you watch this with your girlfriend? I said, um... I was like, this is, I find this really hilarious. And I told him that I think Hannah Ann's going to win. I said, you're, I think, I said, I think you're onto something, but I think Hannah Ann's going to win. So today he texts me and goes, yeah, I watch it with my girlfriend. Tonight's the big night. I think we're going to find out that Victoria F is a serial home wrecker. <laughs> really? And I go, dude, you crack me up with how invested you are with this shit. Oh but, my gosh. He goes like above and beyond. Yeah. But I guess apparently tonight is people are finding out. And we'll see, right? By the yeah. time this airs, we'll know. But that she's going to be, she's some serial home wrecker. Uh, spoiler, which um, you guys will probably already know well, by we'll now. We'll all be spoiling it for um, each other. We haven't seen it. Yeah. But uh, spoiler for you, I guess apparently they break up, Victoria and Peter, before she, they even meet her family. Oh, like I think I saw that teaser mm -hmm. because she's fucking crazy and she loves a fight. She's one of those girls that like, you know, there's those girls that like need a fight mm -hmm. all the time. That's how they know yeah. that, like, that he's really into him. But I'm wondering, though, if that's really the case. Because then people were also saying that Kelsey was was not going to be kept from the dates left over. So I'm like, wait, don't kept. you normally have three girls at the end where you go on Fantasy Suites with and then you pick? I thought it was three. Yeah. yeah. And then you pick, like, two. And then those are, like, your last. I don't know how And it then goes. you pick between those two. So one of, there always is one girl that just gets um wham bam thank you ma'am right yeah. so they all go they go in the fantasy fantasy suites and then someone's blindsided i'm mm -hmm. just blindsided yeah because yeah. you guys had sex like this is when we get into the real like you're an asshole phase of it mm -hmm. whereas before it's like we just kiss we hang out this yeah. is the bachelor what are you guys worried about and then you're like dude you just fucking had sex with me and yeah. now i'm going um so we're entering that phase after know. hometowns but i think your friend is actually right about Madison, um, that she is going to make it to the end, but it's going to be something weird. Because she's, she's a virgin still. She'll talk, she talks about that apparently tonight, but I guess she yeah. like shares that with them. And knowing that, oh, Pete Pete here likes to yeah. bang it out four times in a So she's giving meal. him a, an ultimatum in this kind of the same way that Luke P did, but somehow coming from Madison, I'm sure it's, I think it's going to be a little bit less threatening and more like, nicer. Hey, this is just my thing. This and like, I, I can't be in a relationship like that. Not like, how dare you, you fucking sinner. I think it's going to just be like, dude, like I just can't do it. Yeah. Uh, which is also like, then don't go on the bachelor. You fucking idiot. I know. You know, what's funny is I think it was Wanda Sykes um you know the comedian mm -hmm. so she was uh talking about she goes i find it hilarious how you have girls out marching like the women's march and, and uh -huh. they're like oh steve harvey fuck him yeah. right but then like oh wait i gotta go home and watch the bachelor i know and she was talking about and i agree with her mm -hmm. even though i watch it right for and we, sure and we talk about it oh i know exactly i would never how horrible it is. ever ever do it in my life and no. i think the reason why it's almost entertaining is because it's a one big shit show of a mess yeah and just like it's jesse like and i have talked to porn. you guys out there right <laughs> right just like we I talked to man it. fans out there yeah. we said hey if you watch this with your wife like you're gonna look better because of it and you do because you have one guy dating all these chicks like i would never be okay and with that still can't choose a good one and then, of they course, they're all like fighting like, pick one. why aren't you banging me or why aren't you making out with me? And he yeah. just and here's the best part is I think that this season has highlighted the most with just random guests, right? Random people that they just interview or they interact with. Right. I think when they were I don't even know where they were at, but they said something like, wow, she's really young. And then there was one guy that was like, you're dating all of them like 
you, yeah, you're, yeah. you're kiss them and then you kiss mm-hmm. her and like so confused and so and, confused and peter's like yeah and some people in the bachelor world are like oh, totally like it's totally normal but everyone else in the outside world goes no this is not normal you date it's, one person yeah. traditionally yeah and then you make up your damn mind if you want to continue to keep dating them or not and if you're yeah. gonna get serious you don't fall in love with three people at the same time and and then know, just like stick have it in their hole and, yeah yeah stick it in their hole <laughs> so uh, but i was <laughs> listening to it i was like she this girl has a point like why does sex has a point because she was just giving everyone shit and about he's it spanish when he speaks spanish i start sweating it makes me so uncomfortable does it do you in the same way that like a white person like um rapping mm-hmm. are oh, you gonna sneeze i thought i was gonna sneeze should probably get, just get it you just out. look at the light oh and you then don't it like white people you, rapping if they're like because i rap yeah so if you just now were like my name is tiffany i'm here to say i would like start sweating i would get so uncomfortable or beatboxing oh yeah someone's yeah, yeah. like hey give me a beat and then the other person is oh, like oh i really am thinking of something right now <laughs> my name is tiffany i'm here to say no <laughs> No, I'm out. I am out. Same way that when every time Peter talks about riding his bicicleta to the biblioteca, <laughs> to the baño, and it's just like this very like elementary yeah. Spanish that you're like, oh no, he's oh, just he's just cringeworthy no. for me now. Cringeworthy. You know what I mean? He's the worst. And yeah. if he knew, if he was really there to be serious, he would pick Kelsey. I'm going to say it right now. Oh, if he was well, really there to be serious, she's obsessed with him, yeah. he would pick her. She's ready to get married. She's old enough. Um, and she's well, shit, super he would've... fucking into him. Yeah. What if your husband cried every time they saw you? He saw you. You'd be like, oh, my God, you love me so much. Oh, she cries He's, every time. Every time she sees him, she just like is so overwhelmed with emotion. I think I just block her out with that. She's just so boring and normal. But she needs to like <laughs> she needs to win. You know, he wants something so serious. And then he picks like. Hannah Ann, Victoria F, and mm-hmm. uh, who's the other one? And Madison. Well, so Madison, Madison and yeah. Kelsey are the most serious. They're just completely different. Yeah. And even you when can tell she Madison was, ta- was raised with good morals and values from a very right. loving family. You know what I but mean? But I think it I think her faith goes really, really far to the point where you can't just be like, hey, I'm working on it. Yeah. <laughs> like he no, needs to really be I know. in it. And like, go get fucking baptized and go to some retreat or something because, like, the level that he's gonna see when he actually goes home sure. is not. Because she was like, hey, I'm trying to like trying to tell him about her faith, and he was just like, Yeah. Was I that really when he want- had that long pause? Mm-hmm. Was that like that nine, ten mm-hmm. second long pause? Where and he it was, was like, really awkward. I love that. <laughs> I really love that. Well, and really, uh, he's like, I, just I really want to work on it. That's yeah. not what. That's not the level that she's at. You know what I mean? Exactly. She's not like, Hey, I kind of want to work on it. She's like. I have been raised so strict Christian. Yeah. My dad's a like, pre- you know what I mean? Like th- when you walk in, like there's going to be like crosses everywhere. Mm-hmm. This, you can't say or do anything that's even remotely. That was like my parents when I was younger. Like not anymore, right. but that was how it was. So they're not like that anymore or. No, I mean, they're still, guys- they're still religious. They yeah, still, yeah, they're just, you know, not they're like- still Christian. Yeah. yeah. But the thing is too, is they're, they're um, more like Peter now than they are Madison. Well, they're just. I hate to say this because we're getting into like a religious talk kind of, but what I noticed growing up is that a lot of, I wouldn't say even a lot, but some religious people tend to be pretty hypocritical right? um, of things where, you know, we all sin and we all fall short and we all fuck up yeah, and uh, daily. Mm -hmm. And for some reason, I think that, um, you know, they thought they lived like a certain life, even though they were still in, in essence sinning daily, they thought they were like, you know, living it better because of those things, right? Mm-hmm. I think there's more accepting of everyone yeah. and everything. Yeah. And realize that um, you can't control other people. Mm-hmm. And everyone has different beliefs and everyone has different values and that they love everyone, just like Jesus says, right? To, right. to love everyone mm-hmm. instead of judge them. Because right. that's who's, who's, it's not our, any of our jobs to judge. Right. Right. So I think that's the biggest thing is that they just realize, like, you know what? I'm going to love you guys no matter what, even if you have a potty mouth. <laughs> Because I sure do. Right. I do. I swear like a sailor and so is my brother. Yeah. But they're kind of like, okay, you yeah. know, like it's whatsoever. I love you. Right. What difference is that going to make? Is it going to make it any less? Like, no. Yeah. Right. And yeah. so they also, um, 
didn't feel the, they didn't want to push it on us anymore yeah. i guess in essence they want us to be adults and decide for ourselves well i think you guys were just we lost causes you know what i mean <laughs> <laughs> they, they really they tried they go off the college and they were like well they fuck. really tried right? i tried but she's a lost cause <laughs> like this whole religious thing did not work no <laughs> we're but gonna lighten up thing, a little though. bit it's like one of those things where even just for me like i've never um i don't know like since i was forced to go to church all yeah. of my life i really grew to kind of really have a, a hate i won't even say a hate but i really grew to just not really like church as yeah. much because i was always forced to go to it yeah so i still have my little talks with you know sure and Jesus I, and stuff and whatever and, and pray like I do and I do it in my own time and whatever I need for sure. to so I mean I sent my kids to like Christian preschools and school and stuff mm-hmm. so uh, I obviously don't have a problem with it at all and I think it's good for structure and I think it's good for morals and I think it's sure. good to like keep people like there's nothing wrong with trying to stay on a good path Mm -hmm. and be nice to people and be good to people and all of that there's nothing wrong with that right and so if they grow up and decide that like out of nowhere they want to be super you know like go down yeah the really religious part of it they absolutely can um i just think what's the harm in teaching like raising them in some values in some values and structure where it's like we don't go to church every sunday only because like that's my only day off yeah sorry i uh yeah you know i try and do good that day i'm not like drinking and going out yeah Yeah. but i'm like hanging out with my family and like that's our day to like hang out with each other so um i don't want to you know uh be screaming at each other trying to get everybody ready trying to find a parking spot and yelling at each other fighting like to get into church where it's like let's just like relax and be nice to each other um but I do uh, like them being raised with that structure. Sure. So I think my parents kind of too. It's kind of hard. To it's different because they grew up really yeah. strict Catholic, right? So yeah, you only yeah, know yeah. what you know. Like you only yeah. know what you're told yeah. and what you're taught. Yeah. So because I was even talking to my mom about that a little bit, and that's the thing too is um, they love everyone. They're so accepting. They don't care if you're an atheist. They don't care if you believe in evolution. Sure. They don't care if you think that the well, dog is, good is your god, right? right? Yeah. 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 And I so I believe too is I just I think that's just being a good person. Good person overall, that's right? Because for say. me, it's just like I don't what you believe is what you believe that's great right. and and it's fine and i never really talk about these things with my friends really often and if and if we do it's like oh, okay cool i we're both we're all yeah. very respectful of what each other believe um my biggest thing is this you know i think when i teach at least my students in training right i always kind of talk about because i never try to push anything that i believe on them i just say hey um, you have to have like if you find yourself in a captive environment, right, where the enemy's holding you, um, you have to have faith in something. Yeah. I don't care what it is. Right. Whether it's faith in yourself, faith in your country, faith in whatever God the you universe, serve, the faith in the universe, moon. faith in something bigger <laughs> yeah. than you or even you. Yeah. Have faith in something because that's what's going to carry you through. And, I, and whatever people's faith are. Cool. Yeah. I love it. I accept it. And that's how my parents are, yeah. too. I don't know if they grew up in that manner, but that's why I think they're so okay with things because yeah. they just realize that, listen, it's not my way or the highway. Every, like, whatever floats your boat, great. We love you and respect you because of it. Yeah. That's it. As long as you just try and be a good person. Yeah. But, and I agree. Like, yeah. I don't know if Madison and I would get along. Sure. For example, where it's like, I'm fine with it, mm-hmm. but I don't know if she would be fine with me. Correct. Do you know what I mean? So that's the only difference is like, I don't care. Be super religious. Be super like to the nth degree. Mm-hmm. I'm cool with it. I just don't think you would be cool with me. Yeah. And I'm, that's I'm that what's way. kind of like, fuck. I know I'm that way. And then also the type of person too is, um, I don't like people's people pushing their ideas or ideals or anything like on me yeah. in a sense. Like I don't definitely do not mind talking about them. Right. Conversating, um, having educational conversations. But the minute that someone's, like disrespects me and puts me down for not believing what they do yeah. is where I kind of go, listen, we're going to shut down this conversation now because this is not going in the right direction and yeah. I'm not okay with this. Yeah. Like I respect you and what you believe. And I was hoping that you would do the same thing for me, but now you're literally shaming me right, for not. And that's to me where the conversation ends. It's the same thing with politics or right. sex or race, religion, any of these things like all like have respect for one another. We all are going to believe different things. and That's completely fine. Just yeah, 
understand that we're we're not all alike and that's a good thing because we all be bored as fuck if we were yeah you know yeah so well now that we got the religious the religious, now we got talk, the religious the talk you know we're just getting to know each Why other not? here right yeah well i wanted to ask because we just valentine's day just passed oh yeah how was your valentine's day how was your now V-day? listen which, by the way, I think I had someone on my social media go, what does V-Day stand for? And, of course, I had to give him shit. And I was like, oh, it's Virgin's, Virgin Day. Let's celebrate all the virgins. I was like, no, it's actually mm. celebrate all the Virgos. Oh, yeah. So what the fuck do you think it is? It's Valentine's Day. It's Valentine's Day. <laughs> God, who are you? Now, look, I would love for Valentine's Day to just be stricken. Mm. Stricken from Same. the memory, stricken from calendar. I would like there to be a national, like, we are, you know, if – Trump could do any kind of executive order that I would be down for, Mm -hmm. that I would be okay with. Trump, you listening? Trump, you listening? I know he's a he's friend of the pod. He listens, listens all the time. So, if you could just get rid of Valentine's Day, that would be great for so many people, don't you think? I agree. How many people do you know were disappointed on Valentine's Day? Disappointed because their expectations were so high because of how much it's like blown up and how much it's like thrown in your face and I kind of if you were asking how mine was I was just like you know what I'm gonna take all of the pressure off husband off myself Mm -hmm. off everything and make it like a fun day for the kids I like that so I respect that yeah like our birthdays both of our birthdays are in February I know all your guys is like yeah I feel like I'm missing out I know. Dan's too. Dan, you guys are all born in February. And yeah. And here I am, October. Like, yeah, but it's kind of why, you know. Is, yeah. it, is it why we get along well? <laughs> no. I think so. I mean, my Look dad. Me and Dan. My dad's born in February. So does that count? Right. Like, I got a family member. I bet am I, I love your dad. Yeah. <laughs> um, I, and I was looking on Instagram and like a lot of random, there's like a bunch of birthdays. I'm like, how weird. Like, I know, isn't it? A lot of my friends. Although we don't really believe in the like yeah, signs and all of that. Sign, yeah. It's just like weird that all of my good friends and good friends from back in the day and good friends that I have here are all February. Isn't that funny? Because I have a few pretty good friends um, who are all born in October. In October? Yeah. Uh-huh. So, I mean, as much as we want to deny sure. that like when you were born means anything, like what is that? Yeah. What is that that you have so many know. people around? But anyway, so I was just like, let me take the pressure off and just make it about the kids. So I made like a bunch of stuff for them for school. And they're like, cute. You know, we decorated stuff for their mailbox to get all their um, Valentines from their friends and then went out with them that night, Mm -hmm. Um, which was like the worst dinner we've ever had as a family. That sucks. Right? Yeah. Because again, because I still had a little bit of expectation. And that's normal. Right. So here's what's funny is I never I grew up hating valentine's day as a young girl because one i wasn't allowed to date right really and two it became so like it was like this stupid. it was this, always this i felt so much immense pressure as a young child to hand out valentine's i guess mm-hmm. and you know i had a crush and to get them and if you didn't how get, aggra- how like right? anxiety and you didn't get a, and if you didn't get a lot if you didn't get one from your crush oh. and then as you got older in high school then our high school so handed out uh, carnations and of course the color of the carnation dictated how this person felt about you and so you can also give your them school anim- did that yep you can give them anonymously so of course that's the, awful the popular girls had how some of the most do that? ones and so of course you want a lot of carnation carnations so white meant friendship pink meant i like you and uh red meant i love you so of course if you got a red one from you had a, a bunch of white admirer ones. yeah right so it, to me i just grew up going this is a hallmark built holiday where literally the, at least this, this is how I feel, and you don't have to feel about this, but like the service industry, like all these people yes. are purposely placing this importance and yes. this emphasis on this holiday and making all these people feel pressured to buy all these things that like flowers die, chocolates make you fat, like all this shit that is, disappears, right? Yeah. And like for what? And what I noticed growing up personally is that I saw that these like, you know, deadbeat boyfriends mm-hmm. would just be like a shitty dude all year long and go all out on Valentine's Day and it like made up for, yeah. it, you know, and yeah. I still felt like shit that I didn't have a shitty dude giving me Valentine's, yeah. right? Yeah. It's just so fake. Like I it hate is. anything fake, right? Sure. Just in general. And I remember from, I started getting Valentine's very late. Like even though I had boyfriends, like they were just always deadbeats, I guess. Mm-hmm. So I started getting like a Valentine very late in life. And it was like a fucking bouquet of 
chocolates that were like looked like flowers and yeah. they're like cheesy and I'm just like I right. fucking hate this whole thing yeah that you went out and got that morning mm-hmm. you didn't get it the day before or anything oh you're like gosh. oh hey I'm gonna this is what I saw a viral video of like this this dude uh like a supermarket and literally it was the night of yeah valentine's day they all get off work and they all were rushing through the supermarket yeah. grabbing flowers and chocolates and it was like every it was like all dudes in the produce yes. section with their like looking like chickens with their head cut off doing yeah. that yeah and to me i'm like where's the th- where's the thought and love in that right yeah so i'm super rich so i go to whole foods <laughs> <laughs> i'm just joking <laughs> i'll tell you why i'm poor Fuck you. i'll tell you why I i'm wish poor I had a whole foods. no listen i'll tell you why i'm poor it's because foods. i go to fucking whole foods sure. all the time I and it's whole a foods. problem i've had to have the conversation with my husband constantly of like hey yeah. we need to maybe i'm addicted to whole cut foods. down on the whole foods and i'm like i can't uh, yeah i can't do it so i went into whole foods and they have like this beautiful bouquet station that's wrapped in paper and i see a couple guys there and i'm like i almost want to take a picture and be like hey hey guys <laughs> here's where you need to be like uh-huh. you know they were older guys like put together yeah. and they were getting an expensive you know sure bouquet wrapped and you know, uh, sustainable paper with the thing. <laughs> so I thought that was good. Now, let me just, I was just t- thinking about my dinner really quick. Hang on. Yeah. So my five-year-old uh-huh. is potty trained. I mean, by potty trained, I mean, they're potty trained at three. So oh, by five, he's good to go. By five, you are never helping them ever. Not wiping, not anything. They're never, no accidents, nothing, right? Mm-hmm. Should be. Um. So that's where he's at. Like, there's not even a thought of like, pooping in your pants peeing sure. accidents no. not even one so we're at the table and he's like looking <laughs> what? at my I'm, no at my low expectation dinner okay <laughs> i'm just you're gonna need I'm the video yeah you're gonna need the video show for this okay. sorry but so he me and my husband are talking i'm having a glass of wine whatever and he's just looking at my husband like <laughs> <laughs> okay so you know the face i was making is trying to poop and yeah. i'm just like what i'm like buddy you're five-year-old yeah what is going on i mean you've met him he's yeah. like a normal no dude yeah. talk you know he's very mature too very mature yeah never done this in his life and i was just like <laughs> buddy what are you doing he said i can't poop and i'm like you goddamn right you can't right here at the table i grab him with my hand like on his butt thinking that like he has diarrhea or like sick or something and I like take him to like run him down to the bathroom, like knocking into people because I'm thinking poop is coming out. Sure. <laughs> happy Valentine's. Like ha- the all I'm thinking in my mind is like happy Valentine's. Like you the you're the one who fucking wanted to do this with the kids, and like took him in there and he's just like trying to poop. But you know, like when you have a hard poop, yeah, as an adult, oh yeah, can be very yeah sometimes painful. Okay, if you're not eating right, whatever. Drink and he's a, a kid, more water. so he eats like you know French fries and chicken nuggets and fucking quesadilla. So yeah. look, he's got the be, It's gonna be a painful yeah. poop sometimes, and he's just like crying. Oh, he's gonna die when I when he ever hears this. No, he'll be fine. when he's older, but he'll probably apologize so and be like, "I'm like, so sorry. I'm so I tried sorry. to shit my pants at Valentine's Day dinner." And me and my husband are just like, restaurant. "No, you." What do you mean? Of course you can't poop right here. I'm not. I can't poop. It's not gonna come out. Good. <laughs> Then I take him down. The baby starts crying because I have, like, sure. taken him. So he's with Ross, like, crying. So how was yours? <laughs> <It> was. <laughs> that's so funny. I'm sorry. Uh, that's not funny. No, it, it is. Was, it's hilarious. But, yeah. No, I know. It's because <laughs> thankfully, I could bring him back up and me and Ross could just laugh die. About laugh it. about yeah, it. Yeah, being those. like, buddy. I was expecting no, something along bro. those lines. Oh, yeah. 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 Um, Nothing came out. I think my biggest issue, and I had, I got in my head a little bit with it, right? Because I have told Chris, and I, and him and I joked about it last night. He goes, Tiffany, you are anything from a typical female. Sure, I agree with that. And don't get me wrong, being a typical female is a good thing, for sure. Okay, Um, uh, women are amazing. I am so just weird. I'm weird. Mm -hmm. Um, and certain things that 
some people care about, I wouldn't or whatever else. Um, and so I never liked Valentine's Day and I always told him, don't worry about it. And I've never cared. Like he've never gotten me anything. Like when you say don't worry about it, you really mean. I really mean don't, don't fucking, fucking worry, worry about, about it, it, please. And I think that's where I'm at. Correct. Too. So go ahead. And so I've always been like that mm-hmm. in, a, in a sense. It's not some cryptic message. I don't care. Yeah. Like let's see what he does. Yeah. I'll say I don't care, which yeah. is very typical girl. And uh, this year I also did the same thing, right? It, I mean. I do it every year so he doesn't think he has to give me anything for Valentine's Day. Yeah. And him still being just the, the loving guy he is, he will just be like, oh, I'll give her a card still. Or, for sure. Like, she'll get chocolates and bite into every single piece of them, which is what I do. Right. Um, and because of social media this year, I got in my head a little bit because I'm not just on Instagram, which, of course, shows, like, the highlight reel of everyone's mm-hmm. life, but and TikTok, too. Mm. So you have every little teeny bopper, happy, like, super happy couple on TikTok showing videos of what their significant other did for them, right? right? And I'm seeing all these elaborate, elaborate things. And, and Chris and I talked about it yesterday, and he goes, you do realize why most, not all, but most of the people do that stuff. It's because to show it off. You know what I mean? Yeah. Um, And I said, yeah, you're right. And I was a little bit disappointed with just the card and the chocolates. I put together this really awesome dinner for him that my mom used to do. So my mom knew we... I didn't like Valentine's Day and she always liked making holidays special for us. Yeah. Even we didn't have a lot of money. So she made traditions, which I loved. And she would make this strawberry daiquiri for us, which we felt like super prim and proper. Right. So we can have our little champagne flutes with it. Um, She'd make us Cornish hens vegetables and stuff and have like cute valentines for us so that's what i did for him yeah and so of course like i got a card and chocolates and i gave him we you know we got into like you know you get into arguments we got into a little tiff the other day and i just like had we both brought that up like things up yeah and i then had to apologize because i was like hey i'm sorry and he goes yeah you kind of pulled the typical female thing where you said don't get you anything and then i you know, even got you something small, and then you were kind of really disappointed. Yeah, in it, right. And I, That's fair. and I, I was admittedly said, "Hey, you're right." Social media kind of got to me a little bit. Right. I saw everyone with these like super incredible, mm-hmm. expensive, elaborate gifts, yes. and I kind of just got wrapped up in, into it a little bit. And so sure. the part of me was a little bit like, "This is why social media is so. It has its pros and it has its cons." And I think that with its cons, you really have to sit there and go, okay, is this reality? Probably not. And how many times have we seen these like really adorable, super loving couples who show their entire life and their entire Mm -hmm. relationship on social media all of a sudden get a divorce out of nowhere? Yeah. And then just hate the other person and then all of a sudden start dating someone two weeks later. Right. It happens very often. Yeah. So you have to sit there and go, okay, let's take a step back. And realize that I need to stop doing the compare game because that is very toxic right. for my life and for my marriage and relationship. I need to sit there and just communicate stuff with my husband. Yeah. And I, either at the end of the day, I didn't care. It was just that stuff. Yeah, yeah. But I think one of the cutest things, though, was one of my girlfriends posted. Um, she was having a baby. Yeah. Right. And so the, it was stuff, messages like that where I really liked. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And for before, sure. so I know we will need to get into the sponsors, so we'll hit this up after the sponsors, but I want to talk to you about this. I'm noticing this is a trend now on social media where people are posting their announcements and they're saying like baby T or baby S or baby like B, and they do this as like a ooh kind of guessing, and then they reveal the name once they have the baby. Oh. I and mean, I want to talk more about getting the baby names and stuff like that because I have questions for you. Okay, yes. Because it's kind of funny. I will answer. But I know we need to get into some sponsors. Sponsors. Let's sponsors, start sponsors. with our first best and most prominent mm, mm-hmm. ghostbed.com. Woohoo! It's a big purchase, you guys. Ghostbed.com forward slash drinking bros. I know it's a big deal. I know it's a big thing. It's a lot of money mm-hmm. to be like, hey, get a mattress. Get a mattress <laughs> for 700 whatever, right? Uh-huh. But um, if you go to Drinking Bros uh, landing page for Ghostbed, you're going to see all kinds of deals, bundle packages, and then you can do a pay-as-you-go, no-interest yeah. program. And so it seems like a lot, but you can break it up into payments, and you can have be sleeping on your bed. Mm-hmm. I think for like, if you pay 36 bucks, bu- Thirty-six dollars this month. In two days, you can be 
in an amazing ghost bed. Sure. Depending Here's- on what you bundle, you can have your adjustable base. You can have pillows, sheets, everything. Like, it's important. It is. Here's my little TED talk. We're going to call it TIFF talk, okay? Oh, a TIFF talk. You spend a majority of your life doing two things, right? Working yes. and sleeping. Yes. So I think that you should have a job that you love and yes. not be miserable with it. And I yes. think you should have an amazing bed yes. that you can sleep like a fucking child yeah. on because that is so important for the rest of your day too. Yeah. And so that's why for me, I think it's vital to have a very good bed um, that you spend money on. Right. It is. And, it, and here's the good thing with ghost bed. It's, it's an amazing money, you guys. brand and quality yeah. for a very reasonable, reasonable, reasonable price. price. Yeah. They always have deals. They uh, give 15% off all the time for first responders and military. So that's, just all the time. And then for civilian dum-dums or everyone else just like me, they always have something. They just had... It's still going on, right? Yeah. President's Day. Yeah. President's Day sale. Today's Listen, President's today, so today Day. Today is President's Day. But... And they have it going on until March 3rd. March 3rd, you can get 25% off. That is huge. That is so huge. So if you bundle, get the 25% off, and then pay as you go, mm-hmm. dude, you're set. And like, it's so hard for me to like I love the page spend you know. money like that. Mm-hmm. Do you know, I know what I mean? But here's the thing, though, too, is think how much you save with the 0% interest. Yeah, you're they not. They make yeah. so much more money with you, from yeah. you, from that interest. Yeah. Nothing. Yeah. So, so they're literally just trying to make it. They're a really good company. We love them over there. They're really just trying to make it easy for you. Mm-hmm. They don't want to, like, get a bunch of extra money from you or rip you off or anything. Their customer service is amazing. Their product is amazing. I can't say anything more or better next up tiffany Ooh. tiffany oh do you feel like a real girl i feel brand new we are real girls we have <laughs> a new sponsor yeah. care of you guys this is the real deal this is like i like your show i like your fans i think they would like this yeah here you go tell them about this so you guys we keep this show free by getting sponsors and the way that you support us is trying out these sponsors mm-hmm. it's usually a good deal and awesome product so let's talk about care of um so care of is let's take go to take care of.com and where are we okay so It's a wellness brand that makes it easy to maintain your health goals with a customized vitamin plan that helps you feel your best today and supports you in the long term. Okay, so this is the cool thing about this. Did you take the quiz? I did. I loved. So I'll just say. So fun. I love a quiz. When I (laughs) get on a website, I first immediately kind of judge it a little. Oh, my gosh. This website. This is the first thing I did with the website. Well, I was immediately impressed and it went into this detailed quiz. Yes. I was very happy to yes. fill it out because it goes into your life, right? And ask what your goals are and what you want. And then like, if you, hey, if your goal is better sleep, like how often are you sleeping and all those other yes. things and follow up questions. I yes. was very impressed with this quiz. With the quiz. And how in depth it got. Yeah. To and figure then, out what I need. Yeah. And so then you guys, from the quiz, it will tailor a either vitamin program, mm-hmm. powders, or packets, whichever you choose. Yeah. Um, and... I did mine. <laughs> yeah, I did. I mine. was really, I was really happy with it too because there were certain things that I did highlight yeah. in there that I wanted. Yeah, I think you and I both had like hair, skin, and nails. Hair, skin, and nails. Right? We're like, this we want to take so care weird. of. Yeah, this aging. Is, yes, or whatever anti-aging something. Yes, was goals. And then for me, mine is of course they asked me if I'm trying to get pregnant or if I am pregnant currently. Yeah. And uh, of course, with collagen, they recommend it for me. They also recommend a prenatal. Prenatal. Which, um, I was really excited about. And of course, um, we're going to get super personal here, but I would like to poop more. Yes, um, <laughs> I did. Gi- I did gi- digestion as well. Me too. Um, so this is a true story, too. So I've been trying to like get into like a health kick. Like I was talking to you after the gym where I'm like going, running, going to the gym, Good trying to you. get like back into it, which is that's the personality that I have mm-hmm. where I like will get really into it for a while and then like go on vacation and binge or whatever and then it'll take me forever to get back into it so that's where I'm at at right now and the other day I don't know if I told you this before we got this sponsor but I was like I want to get something just like tailored to me I want like my hair to grow better I need the skin needs to be better I need energy and I've seen a bunch of these 
websites and this one kind of stood out to me so mm-hmm. when they sponsored true story i was like are you fucking kidding yeah. this is perfect because it's just gonna go hand in hand with me getting back on track yeah you know and it's it, like, always once, helpful to have that yeah like when you feel good you want to feel better correct when you feel bad you want to feel worse it's just like how it goes mm-hmm. so i'm like on this kick and what's awesome about it is it just tailors it to you and sends you your customized packet. And that's the best part is because you're on a different track than me, right? Yes. We're on both. We both have different goals. Yes. And different lifestyles. Yes. So because of your quiz and because of my quiz, it tailors everything to our healthy goals to and us. to our specific lifestyle, which I think is amazing. Yeah. So I went to um, I went to takecareof.com. Mm-hmm. I took the quiz and I used our promo code. Woo! Sorry, I have no shame. Yeah. But I used our promo code BTE50, which stands for what, Tiffany? Big Tit Energy. Big Tit Energy. We didn't tell the company that. No. We're not they going seem to. cool, but we're just going to see how we're it goes. We're going to stick with BTE for BTE some of these more. Um, 50. And you guys, yeah. you get 50% off. We have never had That's a sponsor crazy. that has given us that much percentage. It's always like 15%, 20%, 25 Fifty five zero that's percent nuts. off of your first order so what i did is just really quick i wanted energy and i'm an old ass bitch so i wanted like better skin and just hair and everything so i'm getting a big tub of collagen creamer i love vanilla collagen. oat Ooh. yeah mm-hmm. i know I so know. i'm just gonna like put it in my coffee see how that goes and then i'm getting electrolyte packets and it's with the 50% off, I don't want to even tell you how much it was, but it was very, very low to where yeah. it was like, holy shit. And one more thing is all the ingredients, you guys, are totally natural. So it's stuff that you've that. heard of or that you can pronounce. So coconut oil, coconut um, extract. There's going to be Himalayan sea salt, like things that you're like turmeric, things that you're like, oh, OK. Uh, These are real ingredients. It's not going to be like, what the fuck is in this? They all taste really good. They're all tailored towards you. If you are um, trying to get back on track with anything, if you want to feel better, uh, please go to takecareof.com. And after you take the quiz, super fun quiz, if you feel like it, get an order and use BTE50 for 50% off love it such a cute website either just go, yeah just go and check it out even just taking the quiz is fun you don't have to it go was. all the way to the end and find out what it, it will tell you what you need uh-huh. before you even check out so you can find out and then you make your decision from there you can pick one thing whatever yep just check them out next up we have strikeforceenergy.com uh you're gonna enter lady boner there to get 20 percent off um i just re-upped my lemon did you yeah i got a box of lemon had to do it because i have a neighbor that keeps stealing them yeah okay i i like like i've said i have not actually tasted the lemon yet does it taste like natural lemon or it's just a a good it's a little bit sweeter but it's a nice tang that you because if i i put it with like um white claw or Vodka well, obviously not during or the day. soda or whatever. Yeah. yeah. During the day, because if I just I put it put with water. lemon in my water. Yes. And I have a habit of doing that. And so I'm thinking if I do a little yes. spritz of the strike force lemon in there, it's probably going to make me feel a little bit better. Yeah. And then you could just use, since you and I are on the like half a packet track right yeah. now where we're not like moving up, it just adds a little bit of kick to like, I like the grape. Great. Mm-hmm. That's a sweet one. I like, and well, that's the thing. Ross likes that one too. But My I have, neighbor likes I use, that one too. I use like a fourth of it. Perfect. So, yeah. Ooh, if you mix those two. I know. Telling you. There's all kinds of stuff you could do. Yeah. And a lot of people have been using them for alcoholic drinks. I'm sorry. Yeah. But that's just what well, they're doing. Great. Why um, not? So, we saw, I, did you see that post of the guy that was like, you're not kidding. And he put it with black cherry and lemon. Someone put it with a Bud Light seltzer or something like that. Yeah, it was a black cherry yeah. Bud Light seltzer with lemon, which is 
the magic yeah amazing hey whatever combo. whatever works for you whatever floats your boat i know as we get older we need a little bit more energy energy so and, and this is healthy has zero calories gluten-free zero sugars zero carbs this for pre-workout post-workout get yeah. through the day you don't want to do coffee you don't want that dehydration of coffee if you put this in your water mm -hmm. and get you through the rest of the day in a healthy way i love it strikeforceenergy.com promo code lady boner show yes. us some love let a, let them know that you like us better than drinking bros <laughs> um so let's get to the show sorry about that guys we had to we, we gotta, gotta shout keep out it we free. gotta we gotta shout out we gotta keep the it people free. who are supporting us and then yes. you know and, and that's the easiest way like yeah. leave us that's awesome reviews on itunes and support our sponsors just give them a look-see you don't yeah. have to buy anything just like Check them out. They we support us so that you can listen to this for free. We're not going to go on Patreon. We're not going to go to Luminary. We're not mm -hmm. going to go to any of this fucking bullshit. We want it to just be free for you guys. So yeah. help us out. So I noticed that this there's a trend lately, right, on social media that when you are pregnant that you – you are it basic. seems like a lot of people have <laughs> – It seems like so – When you get pregnant, you, you, when you get pregnant, you just turn – instantly basic go ahead that's gonna be me, me probably oh, i have look, so many look, pregnancy all, posts for sure that are saved all kinds that's of things. like i totally want to do this this thing is look, funny i did a baby shower i did all the oh things. i'm totally gonna do a baby yeah, shower yeah, yeah. i like, mean but let's be real it's because i need some i don't have the money and oh, i would yes like <laughs> i wasn't going to either because i was just like mm, like didn't want to do any of this stuff and people were like dude do a baby you shower. need to have one at least to get some fucking diapers i know like, for some real. diapers like some there's so clothes. many things you need that you don't know that you ba need babies are expensive so they're expensive why not? have your friends spoil you you know what i mean yeah. i always i always will even if i'm not even close to the person will buy people baby stuff yeah like if they're having a shower or something and pro always. tip if you get them a size one box of diapers they will love you forever size one not newborn uh yeah good well and here's the thing too is you don't know how big that baby's gonna be well, well they'll right? always be in the newborn for a second but it's really just a second. See, that's why you know I'm what I mean? kind of wary sometimes of buying people baby clothes is because I, I wonder, because I don't have kids myself, but I think to my, myself, like, man, if I give them a newborn clothes, they're, they might not even wear them. If you do the newborn, just do something really cute where they, like, can take a picture in it. Oh, okay. But if you want to actually get, like, functional clothes, get three to six months. Okay, got it. Pro tip. But I noticed that people, when they are pregnant, they're coming out with like baby M, baby V, baby C, baby, okay. you know. And so it kind of like builds up this, you know, suspense. To finding out the name. To finding out the name. Okay. And so here's where I got into my thoughts. Because I, my mind goes down these little rabbit holes sometimes. Sure. And this thing's weird shit. Me too. And so number one, I think to myself, okay, so are these people doing this purposely so they don't tell people their baby name so that people don't steal it? Huh? Right. K. Number one. K. Um, I'm not gonna say who, but there's someone in my life that I would never tell any of my baby names to because I have a feeling that if they got pregnant before me, they would steal my name. Oh yes, we all have that person. Right. Yes. <laughs> and I'm like, <laughs> can't. I mean, do I'll that. continue to hang out with you, but I don't fucking trust sure. you. Sure. <laughs> um, <laughs> we can be friends, but right? I don't fucking trust you. <laughs> but uh, that's one thing. And then also, I don't know if they do it so they don't have people going ahead and judging the baby name beforehand because I will say even nowadays there are certain names that have bad reputations no matter what they are right like Karen okay. if you name your child oh, Karen well all of a sudden she's gonna turn into the chick with the short spiky haircut constantly asking for the manager can you imagine meeting a baby Karen no I can't at this point yeah and then okay or if, Linda, you, or if you name your son baby Linda <laughs> You name your son Kyle. Kyle's gonna come mm, out. You can't do it. Kicking your, you, can't you know, he's it. gonna kick out your stomach, drinking can't a fucking monster, mm -mm. putting fists through fucking drywall, right? Yeah, like that's. So these are yeah, yeah, the yeah. things that people talk about yeah. when it comes to baby yeah. names and names. And so I'm just curious why you think people are like doing that, or is it just? I don't that's know. Weird. I know. Well, it's I another. It. It's another thing to guess or to like. I don't know, to build to be like emotionally involved right? in the so process. Like, gender reveal, right? Did you do one of those? No. Oh, okay. Are you going to do one? I don't know. So I, okay. I, Just no, be no, careful. No, listen. People I have, die and shit. I have one gender reveal that I would do. <laughs> okay. Okay. I saw it on. Is it the fart one? Mm-hmm. 
You would not do it all day long. Okay. I would have a stripper. That's funny. Or I would hire someone. That's funny. A stripper to put whatever color powder Mm -hmm. in her asshole and then have her fart it out on demand. And it would be like a pink smoke Mm -hmm. or blue smoke out Mm -hmm. of some chick's ass. And that's how I would do my child gender reveal. You know what you could also do? You can have them eat either a bunch of beets. or blueberries or something what's what's something that would like some kind of weird drink that is like so chemically blue that it would turn your poop blue oh um my poop used to turn blue from irish trash cans all the time so here's what all you can time. do for your so gender has, reveal. Has car- it has like this Caraco, like the blue Caraco, whatever you call it stuff that's Carousel, in it. Carousel, yeah. Carousel, so wow. No. Carousel. That that's a really good idea. This is a really good Maybe idea. I'll do that. So this either, is one that hasn't been done yet. So either I'm going to be fart, someone's going to be farting out my gender reveal, or someone's going to be shitting it out. But either way, it's yeah. entertaining. Yeah, right. That that's, is awesome. That's and that's way very out. you. Like that's I don't very think me. you would do like a. Oh no, I can't do like balloons. A or balloon or a cake. Like cake. No. Um, I think the, I think gender reveals are fun when you already have kids. Do you know what I mean? So like the kids oh, can sure. like have the cupcake and be like oh my gosh and then there's inevitably one that always cries right because they want the like brother or the sister or whatever have you seen the gender reveals where um it's not even pink or blue you'll have like a white couple and it's like a black cupcake it's like or you know it's black inside and they're like what the fuck <laughs> and then they go get the one really black funny. dude in the room but that's i think really i think funny. these are mainly like funny videos yeah, yeah, but yeah. to me i still think that's, that's hilarious really funny you should those do are, that one those are the only right yeah oh, scared to shit out of chris that'd be really funny <laughs> he'd be See, like that's what the is only this? thing so um i don't know if you saw my pregnancy announcement for the last baby no i did not um it was stupid, but we did like a like an album cover. Uh huh. Oh, that's um, cute. Like dressed like uh, weird. It was really white. Now that I think about it, like we were <laughs> like dressed really like white folk thing. Cultural appropriation, real hardcore. Oh, okay. And it was like another one. Um, see, I would do if I do. I'm really and that excited. Was really the only thing that I did, like, sure, I didn't do a baby shower. Or I'm excited or to anything. do the announcement because it's just gonna be like. Oh my gosh. Something like, off the wall, kind of funny, weird. Yeah, what is your yeah. announcement going to be? I don't know. I, well, I'm not going to say. And then right? the, other thing, I- the other thing with the name, like I did not have Did the you have name, a baby name picked out? Not that quick. Do you know what I mean? Like it wasn't until, I guess people that, if it's their first baby, they've been thinking about it forever, right? I mean, yeah, yeah. So I got some names. Um, yeah. I didn't know with both mine until like towards the end. I was just like kind of seeing... I don't know. Did you and Ross go through like a list of baby names and pick stuff out together that you liked? Um, the f- with Jax, I just went through. I went through names mm-hmm. and were you watching a lot of the uh, that motorcycle? Vanderpump. No, oh. Vanderpump. Oh, it, Vanderpump. I think that's what it. Like, do not. Ross doesn't listen, but do not say anything. But I think that subconsciously like got into my head. Really, because these were the days when Jax was like hot. In Vanderpump. Do you remember beginning? He's completely unattractive now and slowly became like the worst. We're, okay, yeah. He well he's he's actually still pretty attractive though now. He after he lost some weight. He's attractive. I was thinking that you named it off of Sons of Anarchy. Sons of Anarchy, which from a Jax. lot of people thought too, which he's, he's sexy. Awesome. Like too. come to mama. Yes. Okay. Definitely. So you can't Either go way, wrong. You can't, no, you can't go can't wrong. Can't go wrong. Although, if Ross knew that it was anything to do with the Real Housewives or Vanderpump, he would fucking lose it. Like, I think he kind of found out a little bit where he was like, "What's his name? Really? What?" And I was like, "Oh, I don't know. Uh, I don't know." And then, oh my gosh! So this is not. So he picked out Jagger. Did he like moves he like picked Jagger? Picked out the name, obviously, because he's like ro- huge Rolling Stones fan. Oh, is he? I okay. was like, it's too close. It's too close in. Jax Jagger. Jax Jag Jag Jax Jag. It's too much. But you stuck with the J names, and you got Jesse. Yeah. So you and they're did... all after me. I'm very Chris Jenner like that. Yeah. That is very like I feel like that's a typical Branding. yeah like white folk thing, right? Oh, for to sure. Have all just the same. Yep. Names that start with well, the names that start with the same letter. Yes. So Jesse Jax Jagger. Jagger. Man, Ross and is then, the odd one out. Do you know um, who's the Real Housewife? uh english she's friends with boy george oh beverly hills didn't like her now we like her dorit dorit mm-hmm. dorit's 
son is Jagger. Also. Yeah, but you're Jagger's I, tutor, though. I heard this. So he Jagger was already born. Did you? Oh, my God. And are both your kids named after? And Real then I was, like, I was like, Rolls? oh, my God. This is how much. And by the way, I love the franchise. Yeah. I love all of them. I know. Not one is better than the other. Although I will say mm. New York and Atlanta are really killing it these Potomac days. Potomac. Potomac. What are you even? Where are you? I thought that was at first when I heard Where Potomac. Where are you even? I thought it was like Potomac in Missouri. I know. And I was like, that's like, not a no really one nice knows area. Where the fuck it is. I think by now they do. But when it first came out, I remember I still like, don't like them. I still don't like this. Where that is it? It really much. Where is it? But these are like some of the Or most Dallas as much. But all the rest I do like a Dallas lot. Dallas is stupid. I don't, I don't love a, you know. But a, I do like all the rest. the main character. Oh, I mean, yeah, you yeah. Can't, Brandy. You can't do it. Yeah. It's just not. <laughs> It's not possible, right? A ginge. A ginge? You can't who, have a ginge as your eats, main gal? Who eats souls for a living is your main character? As your main character with that horrible daughter? I can't. So, <laughs> but don't get me started because obviously I love them so obviously. much that I named both of You're my kids invested. after characters. I cannot believe that. Okay. I did not mean to with the second one. Oh, sure. Well, I feel like something that couples struggle and go through when they have to pick out baby names is... Um, picking out names of people that they didn't like date right yes or stuff like that that's what i thought Where of immediately like, why are you so opposed to that name right okay because there's certain guy names i will never do for sure like all day long and and i think to myself there's also certain guy names that i will do right like i like the even name even though you dated them like or, no. or i'm just saying guys in my life like all the johns in my life have been pretty good dudes like all sure. the johns and i think that's pretty true of all johns yeah to be honest with you is it if I were to think, like, I have never met, I don't think, a John that was, like, not a pretty good dude. Mm-hmm. I've never met, like, an asshole John. Do you okay. know what I mean? Huh. Yeah. Interesting. Um, I think it just depends. I, I, and I know that him and I had, like, went down a baby list name, kind of, and we were going through okay. everything. And there were certain girls' names that I liked that he was like, hell no. Okay, and there's because also certain, of the association, for Yep, sure. and there's also certain girl names that he liked that I also was like, no, because I didn't like particular girls with that name yeah isn't that funny though i know because it's like isn't it weird it's weird and as you get older you get more and more right sure the baggage of like what names mean yeah you you get less and less names throughout the year yes (laughs) where you're like okay well that's out that's out she sucks he sucks you know what i mean you're like oh my god by the time you're like 40 if you're having a kid you're like nope i I don't know what apple i guess i'll name him well (laughs) yeah uh apple paltro yeah you just all of a sudden yeah you go into it and you just up a color well blue oh blue right yeah my parents were very lazy for sure um so we went down our list and when i was pregnant right we immediately had and on this list that him and I did, we were kind of seriously dating. We did it for fun one night. Yeah. We were kind of drinking. And I was like, oh my God. right. It was very cute. Oh, so cute. I was like, hey, if we had kids, what would we name them? We went down this whole list, like just having fun with it and telling yeah. each other jokes and stories. Yeah. And so I still kept this list. Like I have it in my notes in my iPhone. So I thought it was Ew. really cute when we were found out we were pregnant. That I was like, oh, my God, I'm gonna look at this list. Right. And we nailed it down to a couple like one for the guy kind of or two for the guys. And then one for the girl. We know which one we want to name the girl. And you know what I did? I uh, went on, what is that? Webs. Oh, my God. This is going to kill me. Um, Pinterest? Nope. A website of names? Urban Dictionary. Oh. Okay. I went on Urban Dictionary. And have you ever heard of Urban Dictionary before? Yeah, but not for name. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You type in the name. Okay. Of someone. And it oh. will go into all the things like the everything that society thinks of this person, right? Just like I was talking about the Karens and the Kyles. Oh my gosh, did you put your name in? Oh, I put my name in. Yeah. Can you put mine in? Okay, so like, okay. So here's one for example. Oh yeah, so we'll put in Jesse. Let's just see. Yeah, let's see what they have. So let's Jesse. Just see. And he I go I go down the gambit of these. So let's see. This starts off with, oh, girl, you are killing it. And, of course, I go for the most liked ones, right? Mm-hmm. Jessie, the most amazing girl you ever find. She's sweet, funny, beautiful, gorgeous, etc. She's super oh God, lovable. Accurate, accurate. And never intends to ever hurt anyone. She has an amazing personality. Her eyes, hair, and everything is just great. She's not just any girl. She's an original. Crazy, but fun. <gasps> Make sure you don't hurt her, though, because you'll surely love her. I know I have. Her smile is amazing. Like, here's the thing, right? I don't think this person wrote really 
full sentences because that was did not sound right. Um, wow. But I think a lot of people go in here and probably write about themselves. Okay. Right? This one goes, Jessie's a girl it. that every guy wants. She's beautiful, caring, and sweet. She can bright up your whole day. I mean, that's true. She's a little shy at first, but once you get to know her, she's outgoing and a ton of fun to be around. I wrote that If you one. have a Jess... <laughs> If she's a bitch at first, Jessie, but then you don't like, let her go, yeah. right? Oh my God. And then I'll give you the way to like use Jesse in a sentence, which is funny. And so here's this is true about my name. So okay, please. the name Tiffany, the original meaning was the appearance of God. Oh wow! So apparently, when people look at me, they say God. It is. I mean, it is hard. Which to, is not it's true. Hard to I do not think that's true. Yeah, yeah. It says Tiffany is a girl of exceptional worth. Oh, she's oh, caring I'm, and tough. I mean, yeah, and can be hurt very quickly. I don't Probably. I don't know about the hurt. Uh, yeah. Quickly She's part. very intelligent and can solve almost any problems that you throw at her. Uh, she doesn't trust easily, which is true. Yeah. So if she trusts you, you're lucky. Tiffany, Tiffany's don't party every weekend and they aren't sluts. <laughs> oh, so a Tiffany that that was called that all the time. Like uh, this, this sounds more accurate, there. though. As you get further down, Tiffany is a girl that will always be laughing. Yeah. Boom. But you never you never get tired of it, which you kind of do. I'm sure people get tired of my laugh. <laughs> her laugh is not the slutty kind. What the fuck does that mean? Her laugh is not the slutty kind, but the voice that is true and meaningful. This does not make yeah, any your sense. Your laugh is not slutty. <laughs> like you're not like he. I guess. I don't know. I'm What's no a clue. slutty I've never laugh? Heard I will have say. To- We'll have to find this, out. Right? So anyways, I looked up boys' names and the girls' names in oh, here. Oh, in here. And of Smart. course, that was the verification, right? Like, you know that blue stamp that you get a verification on social media? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Urban Dictionary was verifying my kids' names for me. And they were <laughs> like, like, yep, that's amazing. Oh, my god. I was like, babe, we can do this name now because everyone on Urban Dictionary thinks that this kid's oh name gosh. is amazing, right? So, like, let's look up Kyle, right? Um... <laughs> <laughs> exactly what you think i don't know oh was well, shit you can look up karen's and or a piece of shit who will suck the goddess out of your life with a vacuum cleaner on your dick whoa <laughs> whoa for what for for kyle for kyle mm-hmm. isn't that funny interesting and i don't so i'm curious how karen's even got their name so karen um she gives raisins to kids on Halloween. Oh my gosh. She drives an it's SUV. Me, it's meme world, right? So, like, where where did Karen come from? I don't she know. She drives Black an Twitter. SUV carpool. Her kids, the soccer practice. And uh, you better hope the ref doesn't call anything wrong because she'll be there to correct him. You know she'll what it sue is? him. It's a generational thing. So, like, we, no one our age, by the way, mm-hmm. is named Karen. True. It's all people Th- those are that boomers, are older, typically. right? Mm-hmm. So, it's like... The people that are the meme makers right now, Mm -hmm. age-wise, 20 to 35, whatever. Uh, Karen is someone older. Linda is someone older, right? And by the way, if that's your name, we're not dogging on you. It's it's a funny trend on uh, TikTok right now, too, where for the most part, most Karens have a very bad reputation because they're all being shown in a certain way. However, you have all these mo- like all these little girls saying, my mom's name is Karen, and Aww. she's fucking cool, and they're showing funny, cool videos of so their mom. So that's cute. And now they're saying, like, okay, there's always... Just like anything in, in life, there's yes. exception to the rules Yes, um, with anything. But I'm curious. I don't know if people go down these same rabbit holes that we did or whatever, Um Apparently, these are people. Oh my God. If you like go down a list of people's names, someone named their kid Pube. It was Pube? Born, it's born in 1904 in Nova Scotia, Canada. They named their child Pube. I mean. Are you fucking kidding me, folks? That's not even a language thing. Night. Oh my gosh. Uh, Flappy. Was born in 1994 in Kentucky. Oh, Flappy. Now that is cute, isn't it? Are you kidding me right now? I wouldn't name my kid Flappy, but... Someone apparently named their kid Banana in 1919 in Lincolnshire, England. Well, Paltrow named her kid Apple. See, like, I because I looked up, like, shitty names you can give your kid, you know? I don't... Okay, so with kids' names... With mine, especially, like I wanted something cool, but not trying too hard. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, I like it. Where it's like Axel Mm. or like Ryder. I don't know. Like they're cute. Ryder's actually really cute. But there was one, there's some names that, and it's mostly celebrities that do it, 
but they're just I know, why so, they're that? trying so fucking hard to be cool. No, uh, yeah, and different. Where it's like, just pick a name that you like. I kind of like old timey names. Mm-hmm. Like my friend named her kid Scarlet, and that's oh, like, oh, I like that. So cute. Where you would be like, that's an older name, but yeah. it's like so cute. I've been uh, seeing a lot of boys being named Henry nowadays. I think that's cute. Yeah, you know what I mean, Oliver. Like things yeah. that are like older, mm-hmm. um, as a trend. Whereas, like for a while, like there were that the trend of just naming your kid. It was, like, well, which I kind of Jagger. I was worried a little bit that people were gonna be like, "Okay, we get it." Do you know what I mean? Oh, like, like you're, you're cool, cool. You're a hip parent. Fine. Yeah. yeah. Like, but it was. What would you guys do for their middle names? Did you guys? So, so I'm curious because in my family, the tradition is with the. I don't know if this is just Catholics and the whole Catholicism thing. Yeah. Or if it's just our families or what. But a lot of times. So I have my mom's middle name. Okay. My sister has my grandma's middle name. My uh, other sister has my other grandma's middle name. You know what I mean? Oh, okay. And so, so you do. Um, yeah, my, yeah, yeah. Um, my little brother has my dad's like first name as his middle name. Right. So we kind of go along those lines. Got it. And in, in the sense. And if also if they make sense. Too. Yeah, like because I go with flow, and then if there's a good flow with a traditional name, then I'll do it. Yeah, which Jagger, my grandma's middle name is Gray, so okay. it's like Jagger Gray. That like oh, was that cute. works out really well. Yeah. Um, if it didn't, I wouldn't have used it. Sure. Do you know what I mean? Um, well, yeah, because Chris's middle name is Ray, and but I don't, that will go really good with lots of names. No, no? It does not with the two male names that we have picked out. It does not. Go. If it's a girl, though, that would be so cute. Ooh, I didn't think of that. And we can we can spell it differently. Yeah. So I actually like my middle name, which is it's so the English version is Madeline, mm-hmm. but the French version is Madeline. So which one? I'm Madeline because my mom's French. My, oh, okay. On their side, like they have a little bit more of a French. They all their names are French, right? I'm a mom's. My mom's name is, is Trace, and it's spelled T H E R E S E. With an accente groove and an accente gras. Brag. Right? Oh, this is why this is why I learned French, though, right? Yeah, you have way more reason to learn French <laughs> and than I have at me. Well, because my I think it's on my grandma's side. I think my grandma's side was a little, had a little bit more of the French um, you know, um, what's it called? Whatever Influ- heritage. Influence. Yeah. yeah. And so when my grandma named them, like my, my, my grandma's name was Audrey. Mm-hmm. Right? So we were that in the Audrey cute. Hepburn area. And Ooh. then she named her kids like Mimi, Gigi, Roxanne, Lizette. Hepburn would be a great Deirdre. first name. Hepburn? Yeah. You think? A, I know Hepburn? Hepburn. Like a, a good first name? Yeah, I know. That's weird. Oh, yeah. I like like a weird last name for a first name. Really? Jagger. Obviously, I do. But, but that, um, that works, so in that... Yeah. And, Maybe not know. Hepburn, but, like, there's some last names, like, I don't think... I, that would be cute. Yeah. For a first name. Well, I don't know. That's why I was curious, because with me, I want I want to keep my middle name, like, Madeline, mm-hmm. as in, you know, for... Because it works well with our girl name. So you would give your middle name to them? Uh-huh. To my, to my little girl. Because that's what my mom did for me. Got so it, I passed that it. down, oh, right? Okay, okay, yeah, yeah. And so, and I'm weird with this too, but I, I want like part of my family's names in my kids' names to pass that down because they're not going to have my last name yeah. that I grew up with, yeah. right? And it's just, I don't know, it's just how I am with my family, right? So with Chris, they're always going to have his last name. Mm-hmm. They're always going to have Hart. Mm-hmm. And so that will be his legacy passed down. So for our little boy, Ray didn't work for the middle name for them. So I was like, oh, maybe we'll use my dad's first name, James. Yeah. And yeah. James worked really well for them. And I had to like try to talk Chris because he was kind of like, oh, okay, well, I guess that works. <laughs> I was like, yeah, it sounds good, right? That's the I was thing like, is I want like, part of my dad somewhere in our names. should be able to always pick the kids' names because Shit, they I'm, have the husband's last name, all of them. Well, and I'm birthing the baby. Well, yeah. But yeah. No. Yeah. <laughs> Birthing, if you want to go down that road. No, but yeah, the like, biggest thing is, well, yeah, the whole last name thing. It's whatever. Would you hyphenate your last name? Just out of curiosity. Nope. Would you ever make Ross take your last name? Nope. Yeah. I never the only ch- thing we do is like not, uh, the only thing I would do is just not take the last name, which I didn't oh, entertainment wise. Yeah. Um, But no. 
smart. Hyf- hyphen is yeah, I couldn't, stupid. I didn't want to do that and Taking the last name, uh, I just, I guess I'm more, a little bit more traditional. Yeah. In that sense. Um, do you have your names picked out? The baby names? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. For both? Mm-hmm. Boy and girl? Mm-hmm. So we have two for the boy. And we were, so one of them that Chris really liked for the uh, boy was Jameson. And I do kind of like Jameson. But then at the same time, Chris is in, like, Chris loves drinking Jameson. So, so like, mm. And we went down the list, right? So we went down the whole, like, alphabetical list. Yeah. And I do like Jameson. But at the same time, I was like, you are you are in love with drinking Jameson? Right. So maybe so that, I don't want our kid to think yeah. that, like, you're, that his dad just had name an it. alcoholic yeah. issue. <laughs> named- just name him Jack Daniel. <laughs> <laughs> right just name him can you imagine Vodka if i name my child soda. jaeger bomb <laughs> yeah. like are you fucking kidding me <laughs> that would be really funny actually <laughs> that'd be one of those things so i was curious about that because i've been noticing this trend yeah i have a girl name but i don't have any oh girl. do you yeah now did you want to like did you really honestly want a girl no oh, okay i just had one picked out because you have to you never know it's 50 50 chance sure. um stevie stevie like from Stevie, like Stevie, like Stevie Wonder, Stevie Nicks, Stevie Nicks. But it would be like Stevie Rose, right? So it'd be like kind of a like cute. I like like a cute now Stevie boy was name, a guy's for, name, right? But that you would make it into obviously the girl's name. Well, Stevie Nicks is a girl. Oh, never mind. Wow, that shows you. Um, but I think like cute, how well I knew that shit. <laughs> I like cute, like I like boy names that can be girl. Names. I like that. Yeah. Um. Oh, here we go. Stevie is normally a brown haired, blue eye girl typically shorter she's a great friend and always there to help out she's really good looking but kind of has some insecurities it's normal don't you think like a boy named stevie that's weird is like causing problems do you know what i mean like they're always like first of all stevie sounds like he's never grown the fuck up yeah like he's an adult but if you're a girl you can be stevie like forever see yeah you would definitely name your girl stevie because here urban dictionary verifies it (laughs) Okay. Stevie is an extremely sexy, intelligent person. Right? Like, hello. She's tall and slim. A figure Wouldn't every that, girl but... would kill for. Yeah. No? Yeah. No. <laughs> well, you're... She'd be short and stout. She'd be a sturdy Wait. base. So... Just like me. Um. Well, you and Ross's jeans are mixed together. Yeah. Right? But my kids, all, they get mine. Really? Yeah. Do both... No, both the boys have completely my jeans. Now they both are have blonde hair like you. They have and blonde they have hair the like eyes. me. They're not like su- they're not going to be super tall. They'll be like okay for a guy, but they're not going to be like insane. Yeah, like him. um, yeah. So <laughs> I have the dominant gene. Uh, yeah, I guess that's. I mean, so they're going to be what a little bit shorter? How tall are you? Um, I'm five two. He's six three. Are you really five two? I thought you were taller than that. I know. I have reason. taller energy. You do have tall yeah, energy. Yeah, just like how I carry myself. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody you says do that. have tall energy. Like, seriously, though. every single person five is two like, to me seems... "No, you aren't." And I'm like, "I know." So Don't short. I seem taller. Now, did you always have a thing for tall guys? Just out of curiosity. I am normal. Yeah, I'm a normal <laughs> girl. Every girl has a thing for tall guys. Did you have a thing for short short guys? No, but Chris is that's the thing. He's not much taller than me. Yeah, so that was my very, one. But you're tall. I'm tall. Yeah. I'm so five like, eight. Uh it's I've a always like tall guys. Like six three. Yep. And above. Given to me. Yep. Every girl does. Um you just want to be cradled by a giant. It's mm-hmm. just like ingrained in us. Yep. Uh so we we do like tall guys. But I had never dated someone that tall until him. So it was like, oh, okay. Because it's not, because he it's is not really hard. tall. Yeah, it's not hard to be taller than me, right? So it's like, oh. as long as you're <laughs> dying. I know here. mine went down already, <laughs> thankfully. Sorry. Um, <laughs> I'm falling off the chair. <laughs> um, so it wasn't hard to be taller than me. Sure. So they weren't like tall guys, but like to me, they were. Do you know what I mean? At least a head taller well apparently it's like a thing nowadays where girls are literally shaming other men and completely not even trying to date them or anything no even look in their direction because of their height that's ridiculous and and to me i'm kind of like oh that sucks because six foot like six foot five eleven five ten like that's great yeah 
That's great. And here's the thing, like Chris is right there almost at six. And yeah, like what, he seems like a taller well to me, I guess. Yeah. But <laughs> Yeah, but you're five two. You're always looking up at everyone. Yeah, like, no, everyone's tall. I'm like, you're so tall. He's like, I'm five eight. I'm like, oh, oh my god, you're a giant. No. <laughs> and so yeah, well, because when you and I did pictures together, oh yeah, I had to get on an apple box. Yeah. So just to be like still shorter than you. Yeah. I as long as I I don't care. I mean, for me, it does matter a little bit. I'll be honest. Maybe I'm just kind of no, it matters superficial in it that matters. manner. But um, at the same time, but if I wear high heels, I don't want to be towering over my dude. Right, right. I don't want to feel like I'm the one who's putting his head in my bosom and being like, "Come here, little child." <laughs> like, yeah, I want him to be strong enough and big enough. And I don't even care if it's even a little a couple inches taller than me to throw me around the room, to throw me over his shoulder, to be a little bit taller than me if I wear right. heels and. I mean, Although I will like say a giant. shorter guys usually have uh, larger penises and try harder. I have not noticed that. Yeah. But I also have a very... It's like a thing. Is it? Yeah. Really? Yeah. You know, I like noticed... a shorter stout guy, like, you'd be, like, real surprised. I See, I have not dated a shorter stout guy, so maybe that's my issue. Mm-hmm. I have noticed, though, and I will say this, tall, string bean looking dudes got big old wangs. Sometimes. At least from some in, time, in my case, I noticed I was like, yeah. Oh, yeah. Super skinny. Yeah. Like guys. Really yeah. skinny. Yeah. And not like really tall, but still taller guys. Yeah. Like this one, I was so just taken back by it back in the day that I was like, can I measure it? And he was like, sure. And I was like, this is like you're nine inches. <laughs> Dang. Big. And wow. I, don't, I don't even remember what it was in girth, but I. I was yeah. Like, I was like, wow, good for you, dude. Like, good for you, dude. You're packing. You're not like, you're not like the, the most attractive guy yeah. out there. You're not getting pulled over. It's just. You're a studio. sweetheart. Yeah. Um, and you're taller. Yeah. You know? So good for you. <laughs> Big dick energy. I'm sure he was like, yeah, sure. Yeah. Measure it. Big dick. Yeah. Um, that's so funny you say that because typically those guys that are shorter, um, I always feel like they're trying to make up for something. Not all the time. Mm-hmm. And I'm not saying they're making up for penis size, but you know, have you heard of like the short man syndrome? Yeah. Where they're just very angry mm-hmm. or just can't but take a joke. But they're also the short man syndrome in the bedroom that they're going to make up, try and make up for their height. So they really will try. Wow. Yeah. Good for them. Yeah. I think that's good. Yeah. You know, I, I much rather be intimate, right? With a person that I don't find as attractive but they're making like a huge effort in the bedroom Mm -hmm. rather than be with someone who I think is sexy as shit and they are, they don't care in the bedroom and they're not trying at all. Nine times out of 10, that's how it works, right? That's how it works. So, so it's like Leo, Leonardo DiCaprio, for example, Mm -hmm. famously, or it's widely known that he literally just does nothing. Really? Lays there and gets blowjobs or just like starfishes. Because he's so hot he that he has, n- yeah, like that he has never had to really make an effort. And so it's like widely known that he'll just like sit there, like be on his phone, like getting blowjobs, like not trying ever. You wow. know, those like super hot guys in let's just say like high school or maybe college that just like either do like a crazy rabbit fucking move that's just like, what is nobody mm-hmm. has told you that you weren't good at this because you're so hot. Yeah. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. You have never gotten any pointers. You have never had to try. And now you're fucking shitty at sex, but you're yeah. still going to get it because you're fucking hot. Well, you're going to get it initially. But the girl is not going to be satisfied. Bully. I'll tell you this little story. This is, and by the way, all these stories are like way, way back in the day. For, For sure. the listeners, <laughs> just know. so you know. They know. But uh, I, when I was like younger and I First joined the military, I was a little chunky monk a little bit, right? Sure. Like, I just ate like shit because sure. I was used to eating like shit. Sure. And um, while we were doing, like, two to three CrossFit workouts a day, and I was probably built like a linebacker. I It was linebacker, though. Do I was. I mean, like... I recall it was vividly. Like a- I was 170 pounds. My neck was thick as fuck, right? And I remember I came home for the Christmas holiday, and my parents were like... Because I completely hey. changed. Because I've always been a super skinny girl my whole yeah, life. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But we were doing so many hardcore workouts and that I had to eat. And I had to yeah. eat to perform, yeah. right? But I wasn't eating right, and I was yeah. drinking. I recall my mom going like, "Oh my god, like you know, you know, like you got like a lot bigger." But I was like, "Yeah, but look, I can still do my cardio." And I did like high knee kicks in yeah, her yeah. in her bathroom just to convince her. 
Sure. Because I knew in my, like, looking in the mirror that I wasn't happy with my body, right? Yeah, yeah. So yeah. anyway, there was this really hot guy, super, super hot guy at the time that I knew um, when I looked like that. And, of course, like, I didn't have much of a chance with him. Like, fucking goddess stunning. Like, okay. you know what I mean? Like, okay. gorgeous. Like, every sure. woman wanted him, swooned sure. over him. The guys loved him. The guys were like, of course, what guy doesn't want this dude? Yeah. So when I got, um, you know, back into eating healthy and taking care of my body and fitness and stuff like that, it was starting to look a lot better, mm-hmm. right? And so I'm at the gym and I see him at the gym and he is just like so taken back by the way I look. Sure. And I felt great about it. Yeah. And he was in town mm-hmm. for like training and stuff. Mm-hmm. He, of course, he had the hotel room. He was like, sure. hey. You should like come on over. Like we can have some drinks. We can maybe go out for dinner or something later on. And I was like, "Woohoo!" Like Let's I was do excited. it. Sorry, that was loud, guys. And I was <laughs> excited. And uh, we get to his room. You know, we're having a few drinks. Sure. I feel like things are going well. Um, his personality is like he's been through some stuff in life, and he was in a different military branch before too. So I guess he's like been through some shit. Mm-hmm. So sometimes he's kind of like he's kind of dark and mysterious. Sure. Anyways, so sometimes he'd be kind of hard to talk to, but as you know, I can talk a lot. Right. So someone can be like totally stupid yeah. and like ridiculous and, and you won't know for months. Oh, yeah. And I never knew. And before he was always dark and mysterious. But now I'm starting to realize that personality is not really there, but it's sure. fine because I'm totally just still enthralled by his looks. Right. And so he's not making any move and whatever. I'm mm-hmm. so I'm really used to that, but I'm very brave to where I. I Went and sat on his lap. Yeah. In his chair. Like, you know what I mean? And uh-huh. like, he put his arm around my waist. So I'm like, cool. He's like, he's obviously feeling it. I go in to like kiss him and he cannot kiss for, the, he cannot kiss at all for the hell of it. Um, and I was really taken back because I'm like, dude, you got, you can get a fucking supermodel, man. Yeah. Right. And then his breath smelled like salami, like really old, old salami. And I was, I was like, okay, well, again, in my head, I'm convincing sure. myself, right? He's hot, yes. Tiffany. You might never have this opportunity again there. in your life. We've all been there. Oof. And so I kind of, you know, I'm like trying to make out with him and I like get push, you know, take him, I get, stand him up and push him on the bed. And mm-hmm. I like go to straddle him, to like make out with him. And he's just starfish. Starfish. Which is what you said. Yeah. He starfished out. And was he, it into was it obviously he, he was he, okay so that's why i had to stop right because you're like dude so i sat up and i looked to him and i this is where i was like i don't feel comfortable anymore yeah because am i taking advantage of this guy like what yeah the fuck? like I'm, are you this good never happened in my life yeah and i said hey you don't I, you don't really seem into this and he's like oh my god no like i've been wanting this for a while and i was i was like what so this is just your and ammo right and so well one part of me kind of felt good about that because i was like oh you wanted me when i was like a chunky yeah. mug yeah still and then now i'm like okay cool but i was like yeah but you do seem like you, you're not really into it and he's like no i am i really am so i went down to like try to kiss him again and he there was no even like touching me like he wouldn't even put his like, hands on me he just laid there and it was yeah, really he's always been able to just lay there and he can't and he couldn't kiss and so eventually i got up I was like, hey, you know what? This is really uncomfortable for me, and I feel like you're really not into it. And it's fine if you're not. Like, it's cool. I was like, maybe we should just be friends still. Yeah. And, like, I just wish you all the best. I, like, went out of the room, and I called, like, my best friend, the lawyer guy. Yeah. And I said, dude, you won't believe it. Remember so-and-so. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And how long I've been, like, hoping just even him look my way. He did, finally. But look what happened. And he was... Why am I not surprised? Yeah. So now he's in a salami breath for the rest of his life. And you didn't actually do any, like... No, I tried to kiss him. And you were just like, dude, I can't. Like, I mean, I here's the go. thing. For me, for me personally, if a person... I get... And I don't know if everyone's like this, but I get really turned on by kissing someone. Yeah. It's really, like, passionate. And for me, like, if you're a really good kisser, it can move on to anything. It yeah. can move on elsewhere. Yeah. If you suck at kissing, like, I'm kind of, like... That's pretty indicative of what it's going to be like. Me, Yeah. And I know there's some guys out there, like, well, what if you're just not good? Or what if you just don't mesh the first time? Like, then I don't want to for then the rest of it. you're not going to mesh. Right? Like, if you can't kiss, you're definitely not going to be able to, like... Oh, and then, yeah. And my thing is, too, is... You kiss kind of during sex. And then also if a guy is a good kisser to me, a lot of times that mean that might mean he's probably pretty good about going downtown. Sure. So that's a little preview right there. Sure. You know, if things proceed until later on or like a serious relationship, I don't know, whatever floats your boat. But right. 
Yeah. So I just, but that's so funny that you say that because this guy I'm telling you right now could easily get supermodels. And I guess that's why he it makes does. sense now because he his, gets like, he has girls like you, like trying to like, without him doing yeah, anything, but, you really, but continuing to like, you made it all the way to the fucking bed mm-hmm. laying down without him fucking doing shit. True. Did he pay? By his looks. Did he pay for dinner, I guess? At we least? didn't even go. Oh. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. It's because, like, we had a few drinks in his room. Oh. We were, well, like, hanging out, talking for God, a bit. But like, that's we're going go to go to dinner. I, I was, I was, like. And if you were a tiny bit. I was in the bit, horny single tiff phase. Kind sure. Of, but right? if you were a tiny bit more insecure or a bit younger, a bit more inexperienced or anything, you would probably just be like, okay, and just, like, go with it. And that's probably what happens to Oh, him. no, I couldn't. Like, the girls just go all never, the way, and then they're like, no. That I've never been weird. like that. I guess that was sex. Like, do you know what I mean? I could not. There has been times where literally before I've been like, I'm, I'm just not feeling it. I'm not feeling it. You know? Um, so, yeah. It was, that was weird. A weird situation. Well, Actually, you know what just made me think of? Mm-hmm. Have you ever, um, you were a bartender. Yeah. Did anyone ever like fall in love with you? Cause you yeah. were the bar. Yeah. Did yeah. you ever make out with any of your um, customers? Yeah. I mean, I ended up dating one. Did you? But yeah, but he would come in and he was like coming, he would come in constantly and be like, as soon Purposely as I saw you, I was, I, I knew we were going to get married and he would just like come in all the time. He, thankfully he was hot as shit. Was he? Yeah. And so. Um, but I was like dating someone at the time. So finally, when we like broke up, I started dating him for a while. But other than that, no, I don't think like maybe like older guys or something, but nobody like falling in love with me. Because all my buddies would end up falling for bartenders traditionally. Yeah. And so one of my my good friends who we all hung out with um, ended up falling for the super, super crazy hot chick bartender Mm -hmm. right and so of course like all the guys were like there's no way you're gonna get her he eventually did and of course she like she's super hot i guess she was crazy in the bedroom but she also turned out to be super crazy sure and that's usually and i think with this guy too like i ended up being crazy for him oh for him do you know what i mean like i was younger so like sure and he was a little bit older and wanted to like settle down a little bit so maybe not going after the bartender was the best idea for you buddy but um, no. yeah, definitely wanted something a little bit more serious. Like now when I look back, I'm like, oh man, I was so fucking ridiculous. But I was younger and I was in a different place. And yeah. so it doesn't usually work to try and like domesticate the crazy bartender. No, Sorry, the bartender, little, the bouncer, Or stripper or anyone like that. Like it's going to be a really hard road for you guys if that's something that you want to do. It's fun. Sure. Like, it's real you fun, know. but keep it fun. You know what I mean? And I then, mainly... Just flirted with the bartenders to get free drinks. And one sure. went too far one time. So th- the same night where the guy, sh- my buddy's trying to hit on this chick, right? The guy, uh, bartender, really liked me. And he wasn't feeling it, but he kept, like, giving me all these free drinks yeah. and everything. And so he kept shooting a shot, like, every time we were there. And um, finally one night I got drunk enough where I went outside and puked. <laughs> and then he came outside and made out with me. <laughs> Look, he, he had it bad. Oh, boy. And part um, of me was like, how did you not just taste the vomit in my mouth? Yeah. Yeah. Right? Yeah. <laughs> That's why I was. I've definitely dated bartenders just to like get into, especially in L.A., like to get into the bar like mm. that's a big deal especially yeah. like these clubs and stuff so i've definitely dated bartenders that i wasn't super into sure but having that like cachet when you go into the bar of like getting your drink first and going behind the bar and like getting a kiss or whatever that was huge oh whether that you was liked huge. them or not but like you were like a fucking star yeah in some oh, of these places gosh. like yeah and that's the thing. And at a certain age where that's the only thing that fucking matters to you correct yeah it was huge when i was i think 23 24 that was like you know oh yeah. i was still kind of big oh, into that scene for sure but i became less the more so flirty girl i'm more kind of like the girl who was just friends with the dudes and there was this karaoke bar where they served like this bomb ass pizza at and i became really good friends with all the guy bartenders yeah. and they would let me go behind there and pour myself drinks make myself sure. shots they were always giving me free stuff and i loved it i felt like days. a fucking celebrity Those dude the days. and still to this still day i think a couple that. of them follow me on social media is that sure. funny you know what I mean? Yeah. Because they're, they're like, probably still bartending. They, they probably are. But and I was you. that girl, the crazy girl who'd always sing, fuck her gently and challenge guys 
challenge dudes to push ups in the bar. That was me. Perfect. <laughs> Well, on that note, I know. let's get to someone that's a lot better than we were. Way better than we were. <laughs> an, actual, an actual good person because we clearly are train wrecks. Yeah. But somehow we have a show. I know. So, But we can give drinking we make, broette to good people. Yeah. We, even well, though we, make we aren't always. People feel better about themselves. Exactly. Because they're like, wow. we're so ridiculous. Tiff, yeah. Tiffany and, and Jess were... Such role models when they were younger. The bartender I dated too for a long time with the club, like, saw it like micro penis and <gasps> older, not super good looking, but I did it anyways because this club, it was Garden of Eden. You guys, if you remember back in the day in LA, Garden of Eden was the fucking place to be. And I was fucking oh. dating the head bartender there. Oh my gosh. With a small penis. You did a micro penis? Yeah. Okay, so I there was <laughs> we like got all quiet. I know, but there, so there's this really sexy guy again, right? Mm-hmm. Like, I was so surprised that he even wanted to par me, right? Mm-hmm. He it's like super hot and steamy. He's throwing me on the bedroom. He's doing everything that I could possibly love. Mm-hmm. Apparently, he's inside of me. And you had no idea. And I had no fucking clue. And and by the way, it's not like a hot dog down the hallway thing. Like I'm I'm good to go downtown. If anyone's like trying to listen, be like, oh well, no, we're good downstairs. Mm-hmm. And he just was like, and I kind of was like, hey, put it in. Like I'm ready. And he was like, I've been in for like the last five minutes. And I was here, yeah. <laughs> and I was like, oh my gosh. And I don't even know that if his micro penis was even hard. But I guarantee, like I went, and then part of me was like, okay, well, like I'll go down there and see for myself, pinky. Mm-hmm. pink like pinky mm-hmm. size mm-hmm. and then part of me was kind of like no wonder this guy is so insecure because yeah. he, do, he does have insecure like he had these major right. insecurities great dude super nice very sexy guy yeah. but part of me feels bad because there's almost nothing you could do about that no you know Mm-mm. and after that we didn't of course not you know of course not and which made me feel bad because i was like well do i like pity right i know I'm, that's why I'm surprised how you Garden of Eden was the fucking place to be. Do not. No, I love it. I love it. Why? Oh, the, no fucking shame. But like, you know, you can do other things. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Um, And they are very good at those other things yeah. because of the micro penis mm-hmm. and many other things. So sexy when he was like behind the bar and like fucking running oh, sure. i mean and sh- so busy it was like the busiest club ever and so you're like it's like sexy yeah so i would definitely like get drunk he's sexy behind the bar and yep. then you do what you got the, to the, do the drunk part helps it helps you're also like super young you don't really give a fuck i know like you know yeah because you're getting what you need. Bitch. I mean, I was such a bitch because it was like any other time I didn't really want to hang out or like actually go to dinner, or actually like get coffee. I just was like, let's hang out. But listen, when you're gonna, working and then he's got to know. It's horrible. And if he doesn't know, then I was not like a great person. I've, I'm not like like I've done things. <laughs> I wasn't that, the best either. Right. In some Where, ways. But like looking back, you go and I'm, I hope that other people are like, yeah, dude, I've done shit like that. Right. When you're younger and you just like don't even understand yeah. what you're doing. And no, I guess true. the main thing is like getting older and being like feeling bad about it. Like if I didn't feel bad, then I think there would be an issue. Sure. Right. Listen, we Maybe talked about even just in the issue. last episode with uh, that was all about you to saying hey you you gotta get those mistakes out you gotta have your years like and that's why and sometimes just repent in your mind like you don't have yeah, to go through no you don't have to go and, and no apologize it, to this guy I don't even want to find Rolodex, him your little black book and like go through no. and apologize no but in, in your mind, mind take take inventory and be like you know i've i've gone down the line of guys that i've dated things that i did wrong things that they did wrong and like in my mind taking responsibility for certain things and there are people that like i have reached out to him and like i'm so sorry i was just like a wreck and most of the time they're like i'm good i'm married blah 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 yeah because then the other thing is you don't want to reach out and have it be weird Mm -hmm. because they're with someone or any anything like that so just like as long as you're in your mind taking an inventory of like the things you did wrong and make sure you know what those are and just try and, you know, move yeah. on from there. Anyway. Here's the thing that, and we'll just end with this too. Um, I have had people say like, 
wow, you like you seem to know a lot or like these things just like I think you know a lot too about life and I'm like, oh my god, Jesse's so smart. And when I, I like made the, a lot of mistakes. What I tell people is <laughs> I fucked up enough. I just fucked I fucked up, up a lot. lot. A lot, a lot, a lot. Yeah. Where I now know. Yeah. And so I'm not saying purposely fuck up. <laughs> to, you know what I mean? No. Say, I'm not going to make you a better person. But what I'm saying is it's okay to make mistakes. We all fucking make mistakes. We yeah. all fail and fall short and fall on our face. Yeah. Listen, get better from it. Grow from it. Learn from it. It'll be fine. Yeah. And you when know. you're 20, 21, 22, 23, like you're probably going to hurt some feelings. Sure. Accidentally, eh, on purpose. I don't yeah. know. But don't feel too bad. I'm yeah. sure I'm sure that guy fucking hurt some feelings too. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. He was dating someone before he got together with me. Uh that I'm like he, that he broke up with for that. So you <laughs> fucked that girl over. You're like, listen, karma's a bitch. I ain't karma. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> uh, you can like justify it however you want, right? The real yeah. deal is I was a little bitch. Yeah. No. And I try and not be that way. Yeah, it was it was it was not good. You're you're not good. You're a little kid. My God, 20, 21? Yeah. You're a fucking child. Well, you don't and even the, know and everything how to revolves fucking... around you. Yes. You're selfish. And you should be. Mm-hmm. Anyways, who are some good people? Yeah, that let's we talk, about, talk about, about this. So we have Drinking Bro at the Week, which was nominated by David De La Rosa. That sounds familiar. Does it? Yeah. Mm-hmm. So he said, Hey, ladies, just another man fan. What up? I'm just loving the show. You all are hilarious. He goes, I wanted to nominate my mom. Her name's Anne Marine. Uh, Anne Marie De La Rosa for Drinking Bro of the Week. So she just retired from the Texas Department of Criminal Justice as a captain. <gasps> she worked there for 25 years. She's my hero. Right? So she raised me to be the man that I am today. She is hands down the craziest and most badass person that I know. I love hearing that about moms. About moms? Hell yeah. She's always found a way to make sure that I always had a roof over my head and food in my stomach. And she sacrificed a lot to raise me. And she deserves all the praise in the world. Thank you guys so much. Have a great day. I love that, you little mama's boy. That's a good thing, That by is the a way. really good thing. That's a good thing. So, Anne-Marie De La Rosa. You're a badass. Mm-hmm. I want to ask you all kinds of fucking questions. Oh, when I hear the, 25 mom's, years. When I hear a mom's crazy... That means they're awesome. And badass. I'm like, we can be best friends. We can be best friends. You know? Because, like, that's my Ugh. concoction. That's what I... That's and she I clearly had her own shit. So she had a career for 25 fucking years. I know. And Criminal raised, justice. And you raised the kid. Huge. I'm sure she has some crazy stories working I criminal know. justice for 25 years. <sighs> Law and order. Criminal. I would love it. Like, right? Everyone dun, loves dun, that dun, shit. Dun, 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 dun. Dun. Bam. Bam, 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 <laughs> Okay, well, this is a long one, you guys. Was it? Sorry, we are no. talking about everything. Um, Look, longer the better. Listen, uh, if you guys want to follow us anywhere, you guys can hit us up on Drinking Broettes Podcast on Facebook, Instagram, and TikTok. You guys can follow Jesse Wiseman. I'm Jesse Wiseman on everything. Yep. I am the real Tiffany Hart. Tiffany Hart, whatever you find me on, just follow me. Yes, and support us by supporting our sponsors. They're all going to be in the description on iTunes, but it is Strike Force, Ghost Bed, and Care of. Yes, and also, we are getting to work. We heard you guys. We took a tally and figured out that we're going to come out with T-shirts and stickers and probably some hats yes. and hoodies and stuff. So, again, just to show our love and support for all those who have rated and reviewed us on iTunes, you guys will be the first people to get the swag. We'll just do kind of like a draw and send you yeah, guys a bunch of stuff. So, again, thank you guys for rating and review, reviewing we're gonna us on from iTunes. We're going to pick from the reviews. And if you guys have not done it yet, please do so. It helps us out a lot. So, I guess until next time, folks. Bye. Bye. Yeah, you've been watching every move and plotting your next move on every girl I'm moving on. Yeah, don't y'all better things to do.